As we've documented here on InfoWars, there are scores of experts and scientists who are on record warning people that there is a significant radiation risk from airport body scanners. Yet the federal government has installed and activated these x-ray machines in just about every airport across the country, including here at Austin International. Okay, so there is increased security at airports. They're rolling out the, the naked body scanners, the TSA grope downs, things like that. Is all this necessary for security? Do you feel it makes you feel safer? Do you feel it's no, a privacy? No, it does not make me feel safer at all. I think it's, I actually think it's pretty messed up what they're doing. Does it make you feel safer or do you think it's a, a, an infringement on your privacy? I definitely feel safer in anything they can do to increased security I think is a blessing for all of us. You can't be overly safe. I don't know if everyone should be subjected to that. I, I think it does make me feel a little bit safer knowing that there's at least at least that they're trying. The idea that there's a naked picture out there somewhere of me is a little creepy but also kind of fun. And what about the pat down? Some people think that's an infringement of their rights as well. They're being pat down by TSA and if, if not they go through the naked body scanners. And is this something that makes you feel safer? Is it something that we need to be doing for our safety? Yeah, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, I'm afraid it is. It's not, I don't feel, you know, I don't feel, I'm a nurse though, see, so <laughs> people with their hands on my body, that doesn't really bother me. I have my hands on people's bodies every day. So, you know, it's not a big deal for me. How do you feel? Do you feel like it's an infringement? I have a mammogram every year again, every year, and they're saying that that, is too high of dose and I disagree it's not too high. With as much as they make us take off to go through those things you, you're not carrying anything on. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's necessary for the children to be patted down. I really don't uh, appreciate it and I think it's a little bit disrespectful to who I am and what I'm doing so I guess it's a little bit of a privacy infringement. For those of you who plan on avoiding the TSA by staying away from airports, I'm afraid you're in for a rude awakening because the TSA has actually expanded its Viper program, which is already active in airports, bus terminals, and subway stations, but now it also includes roadside inspections of commercial vehicles on the roads and highways across America. So a lot of people are refusing to fly because they don't want to go through this, but um, there's also privacy advocates who uh, I think are justly concerned that this, these TSA uh, checkpoints are expanding, not only airports, but their bus terminals, their subway stations, and now even roadside checkpoints. So they're stopping cars on freeways and roads across America. Are they going too far? Definitely going too far. I've never heard of that, but yeah, if they are doing that, that's, yeah, that's, they are going very far. I think they're going a little too far. Yeah, I think that's going a little too far. I, I don't think that's the best use of our time and, and resources. No, I think that's going a little too far. I don't think that might be a waste of resources. I believe right now we're at a time and age where it's necessary. If let's say the terrorists hate us for our freedoms, <laughs> then they're winning. <laughs> because now we're no longer free if we're going to be you know, subject to illegal searches and seizures. What would you say to those folks? I think that's taking it a little extreme. It's not that you're not free, we're just being really safe. Now it's interesting to note that earlier this year a bill was introduced to the Texas legislature that would actually bar full body scans and full body pat downs at airports. As you can imagine the bill attracted much support and gained momentum but was shot down as the State Department threatened to implement a no-fly zone across the entire state of Texas should the bill pass. And now the TSA want their agents patting down, searching, scanning, and harassing American citizens at all levels of society. And not just at transportation hubs, but at major sporting events, in the streets, and on the highways across America. I'm Darren McBreen for InfoWars Nightly News.